Hi guys, it's Dave here, aka Kingdom Rust, back with another video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Rainbow Six Siege beta. Um, had the chance to play the beta a couple of months back um, for the closed beta. Uh, this evening, the latest version of the beta has become available on Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Um, so far my experience is about an hour and a half in, is I've not actually managed to join a single game. Um, it's been very frustrating. Every time you do try to get into a lobby, uh, people come, people go. Uh, you get disconnected when you do actually look like you're going to join a game. Um, I've even had instances today where the single player mode has also disconnected from the server. Um, so yeah, I mean, so far it's not exactly a great start to the Rainbow Six uh, Siege beta. A game that I do have on pre-order and <laughs> somewhat regretting I uh, must be honest. Uh, but anyway um, it's coming out at a very interesting time with Fallout 4 recently coming out you got Star Wars Battlefront as well which obviously a lot of people are playing and Call of Duty. Uh, so there's definitely enough games out there to keep people busy and is this game going to be enough to drag people away from those titles? Um, personally for me, Fallout 4 has taken up a lot of time. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront is a game that I was really looking forward to and it isn't something that I've actually got into that much yet due to Fallout 4. And then next week we've got Rainbow Six Siege coming out. So I'm just wondering where I'm going to fit Rainbow Six Siege in. Uh, the only thing that I will say is hopefully tomorrow once the beta does go live across the board, fingers crossed that will bring more people online and um, it will be a lot easier to join games while I played the closed beta and obviously the, the beta that's been released today. Uh, will it be a success on consoles? It looks like it's one of those games that's probably made for the PC crowd. Uh, I have been con uh, contemplating cancelling the pre-order and actually getting it for the PC. I think on the PC it could work out really well. I'm just wondering on the Xbox One and the PS4 if it's something that's going to take off. Um, the game itself, is there enough content? A little bit like Star Wars, there's no single player campaign. Um, especially with what I've seen so far. Again, if you can't get into games, that's going to be very frustrating if you paid £50, £60 pound for a game that you can't actually get into. Uh, whereas on PC, you can pick it up on G2A for about £25 pound on a pre-order. So that's something that you need to, to weigh up. Um, I have said they're going to be releasing a free DLC, which is a bit of a godsend to be fair. Um, none of this £30, £40, pound, £50 pound, uh, for passes and season DLC. It seems a little bit ridiculous these days that you're almost paying for a game twice when some of the content itself looks like it could have actually just been on the disc from day one. It is different to shooters. I will give it that. It is something a little bit different. It's a little bit more tactical. Um, obviously it's insta-death once you die. You're out of that particular round. So I think you'd be a little bit more cautious in regards to how you go about it. Personally I play a lot of Battlefield and on Battlefield there isn't really much of a deterrent from just running straight into the battle and getting stuck in there. So I do think it's quite good that you do have to be a little bit more tactical. If you've got a team with you, then obviously it's fantastic. People that you play games with on a regular basis, you can get on the on the mic and um, and yeah, and coordinate your attacks. So that's something that could be could be very good moving forward with the game. And um, and yeah, I mean obviously for the the beta itself, it is worth checking out once people are on it and you can physically play the game. But so far, from personal experience, it's not been the best of experiences, to be fair. Yeah, the game is still running there in the background. I can hear it sort of like clicking as people come in and out waiting to join games. And as of yet, I've not managed to get into a single game. Anyway, guys, if you have managed to get onto the online mode itself, and if you've played the, the beta during this current period and also the previous period, you can just let us know what you think, if you think it is something that's going to be a success on consoles, or if you think it's going to be purely a game that's built for the PC, made for the PC crowd, and if it's something that could possibly take off with the PC crowd and all the eSports stuff as well. Anyway guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, a little bit of a ramble, and uh, it wasn't uh, scripted or anything like that, I've just sort of gone with it, so there'll be a lot of pauses, a lot of ums and airs, but, uh, but yeah, just sort of like saying what I think off the bat about the Rainbow Six Siege beta.